I've worked my whole life, and I never expected to be sleeping in my car at the Walmart parking lot. At 60 years old, Ezra Welch suddenly found himself in uncharted waters. I, I, I've gone through a couple of health scares and a couple of job losses. The last couple of years have been very challenging. Evicted from his apartment, and left with no place to live. Uh, there are no new places in Connecticut that will let you in the door unless you got like 5,000 or so. Went to seven different hotels. None of them would accept the vouchers. I went to uh, three different YMCAs. They were all had no vacancies. Forced to sink or swim, he was able to find temporary housing at a hotel. But what the future holds is still unknown. In Connecticut, where evictions are still exceeding pre-pandemic levels, Welch is not alone. According to the Connecticut Fair Housing Center, 22,749 evictions were filed in 2022, a jump from 2019, when there were 19,104. So far this year, those numbers are closer to 2019's, but still higher. So the pandemic really did exacerbate what was already a sad trend. Joseph Osborne is head of the Wyndham Mills Tenant Union. He says the end of the eviction moratorium in 2021 was the beginning of the wave of evictions. A lot of tenants were misinformed in regards to their responsibility as far as uh, rent. People thought because it was a moratorium that they didn't owe rent. And so they stopped paying rent. And now rising rental costs are adding to the problem. That is a crisis and that is happening everywhere. Some of the numbers have been astounding, where I've heard of people's rent going up over $1,000. From 2022 to 2023, the fair market rent for a one-bedroom apartment went up 21% in the Bridgeport area, 15% in the Hartford area, and 13% in the New Haven area. Landlords argued that's because of rising costs everywhere else from electricity to insurance. You know, most landlords are gonna try and help people to a degree, but they can only wait so long. They have, you know, they have expenses that keep piling up too. John Souza is president of the Connecticut Coalition of Property Owners. He says the eviction process can be a lengthy and expensive one that landlords often try to avoid. Well, eviction court is the only way to resolve the differences between landlord. There's no other system. It costs a fortune for the landlord and lost rent, got to hire, most of the time you got to hire a lawyer, unfortunately. Um, so it adds to the cost of the system, too, by having to have lawyers involved. For tenants, there is help. The state recently rolled out a right to counsel program that offers free legal representation for people facing eviction, something that can come crashing down on anyone. You're one health scare away, you're only one car crash away, you're only one, your spouse or somebody gets sick or passes away, uh, COVID, who knows. Coming up Friday night on the Fox 61 News at 10, we'll explore solutions. What's already being done in our state to address housing issues and what are people pushing for? We'll have that and much more. Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.